babe did not even think about turning the air on when he came home and saw that I was sleeping on the couch. All I got from him this morning was a good morning message saying that he's at work and I was sleeping so peacefully and he didn't want to disturb me. And I don't really know how to feel about that because I was sweating. I felt like butt cheeks rubbing together in the summertime. That's not great. <laughs> just got home from the first day of orientation it was absolutely great but a little bit bummed out because I'm not gonna be able to go for another week at least because I needed to get a shot which I did get just now but I'm gonna have to go back in a week to see if my levels went up it's very so well and then we'll have to take it from there basically but I'm so annoyed about that, but there's literally nothing I can do. But the first day was great. We pretty much um, learned how to chart on like a computerized system because where I'm coming from, it wasn't a computerized system. So I learned how to chart on a computerized system. And then um, we basically did a ton more of paperwork. So there was that. I'm literally starving, so I'm gonna warm up some food that I had. Got me some food the other day, so I'm gonna eat that. The uniform isn't bad. I already got pen scuffs all over it, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? But, um, yeah, it was a pretty good day. But now I'm gonna change, eat some food, and I literally have to just wait for my varicella levels to go up before I can go back to orientation because I can't, they don't want me transmitting anything to, an, anything to anybody or anybody catching anything from me basically. So that's why I have to sit it out and wait. Oh, anyways, and wait. But yeah, that's all. The orientation was great. Um, yeah. I feel like y'all couldn't hear me. Welcome back to my channel. As soon as I started this video, I realized that maybe I do wear quite a bit of pink for a very long time i've been in denial about if pink is my favorite color or not but at this point i feel like we can't deny it anymore we can't try to hide it i'm home today i think i already explained the situation to you guys so you'll see that before this but um i'm feeling a lot better than i did yesterday yesterday after i recorded that clip i felt like butt cheeks rubbing together in the summertime that's not great <laughs> but today i feel a lot better last night i felt like i had a bit of a fever I didn't really do anything I fell asleep on the couch sweating my entire body off because I forgot to turn the air on before I fell asleep and I was just here sleeping and babe did not even think about turning the air on when he came home and saw that I was sleeping on the couch all I got from him this morning was a good morning message saying that he's at work and I was sleeping so peacefully and he didn't want to disturb me and I don't really know how to feel about that because I was sweating but you know we love a good good morning message but um, I'm here today. So far, I keep looking on my hand because I'm always wearing my watch. She'll hate them when she's 20, I'm pretty sure. At least those different colors and shapes, full stop. The average teenager would like a black pair of cat eye frame. That is not cute. My sister and my daughter are at the beach and my sister took some pictures of her and some glasses that my sister bought for herself and we are having a discussion that my daughter is going to hate those pictures when she's 20 which is in eight years and i'm telling her that of course she will and this is absolutely your fault because you're putting glasses on her that you like ruining the pictures oh my god anyways um yeah like i said i've been home all day right now it's 4 p.m and i literally the only thing I've done all morning is get up, eat something. I can't remember what I ate this morning, but for lunch I ate a burger that babe bought me some days ago and I just had it in the fridge and it's a black bag. And then I ate some ruffles. I'm currently obsessed and I really do not know what it is. And then I showered and I've been back on the couch, you know, that has just been my favorite place for right now and I'm catching up on Grey's Anatomy, which I stopped watching a long time ago and really had to just be here playing catch up to see where I left off but um 
yeah that's really all that's going on my arm is a little bit sore but we're fine i'm just trying to enjoy this maybe a week maybe two weeks that i'm gonna have at home because on monday i could go back and check to see if my varicella levels have gone up um it's either a little bit immune not immune at all or like full immunity and i was not immune at all when they checked my levels and so i have to go monday and see if it went up then i can continue my orientation if not i'll have to wait until the following week to then continue the orientation and then they will give me the next shot at like some point i don't know but i just want to continue the orientation and start working i'm so excited but, um yeah that's really all that's going on i'm not gonna be cooking today because there's food in the fridge yesterday being cooked and i didn't eat anything i'm not sure why so there's still that there and i had bought him food the day before that he didn't eat so there's that there and i made something the day before so that's so there's that there as well so you know as we've gathered there is quite a good amount of food in the fridge that we can eat and we need to eat because one i just spent a pretty penny at the grocery store and two i don't need to be wasting food especially not right now but yeah that's all that's going on my friend asked me if i walk in this heat and honestly before i would normally go outside for a walk but the way how it's hot right now i cannot even bring myself to go outside for a walk especially not like this time of the day it's either gonna have to be early in the morning or at like 5 p.m so maybe tomorrow morning i'll wake up early and see how i feel because for some strange reason because my body is acclimated to waking up super er uber early every day i've been waking up either at 5 a.m or 6 a.m so if i wake up that time tomorrow I'll go for a little walk if not i'll go tomorrow evening so that's great but um yeah like i said that's all if anything exciting happens you guys will see me and if nothing exciting happens you guys will see me tomorrow too much losing there and too much 10 percent. okay bye